as we had discussed earlier that an atom consists of electron that is negatively charged particle having a charge of minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb where coulomb is the unit of charge and then we have a proton which is a positive particle having exactly the same numbers okay but in this case the charge is positive and then we have a neutron which is a neutral particle okay that means you can't blame this particular fellow for the electric shock that you get so an atom consists of a nucleus and we have the electrons the negatively charged particle revolving around the nucleus okay so this has been taught quite a lot and you might have come across this explanation during your class maybe 8 9 or even 10th grade okay so everything is good well good nice okay and then when we take an atom okay let me take this atom since we have already discussed that an atom consists of one negatively charged particle one positively charged particle and a neutral particle let me let us take this scenario again okay let us zoom in into this picture we have nucleus at the center and an electron orbiting the nucleus and when we zoom in this particular nucleus since we are going to discuss about the nucleus only in this particular case right? as the topic is strong nuclear force okay so we are more concerned with the nucleus so in this picture when I zoom in this nucleus then I see that in the nucleus I have some protons I have some neutrons okay residing in the nucleus I have some number of protons and some number of neutrons the problem with this particular picture is that a proton is a positively charged particle okay it is a positively charged particle so how how is it even possible that we have positively charged particle sitting next to each other because according to electromagnetic theory or the properties of electromagnetic force like charges should repel each other okay they should fight with each other they should not play a merry-go-round or they should not you know be friends with each other by the properties of electromagnetic force okay in this particular picture we see that at the nucleus the nucleons okay the protons the neutrons are the nucleons so in this particular picture we see that the nucleons are playing merry-go-round and the electron is shocked this electron out here he is like what this electron out here aren't you guys supposed to repel each other and we always have this particular friend in our circle who is like what about me okay so all these electrons are shocked right now because a principle has been violated according to electromagnetic theory and then the nucleons at the nucleus replied we became friends when we came close to each other so that was their reply to the question raised by all the electrons revolving around them that they became friends when they came close to each other okay and this closeness and this closeness is what we call as strong nuclear force it is the strong nuclear force that is binding all the nucleons together what is strong nuclear force it is the force responsible for holding the nucleons together in the nucleus okay which is the protons and the neutrons okay so this is the particular force responsible for holding the nucleons okay holding the nucleons together in the nucleus and how strong how much strong 
is this strong nuclear force okay is it like very much hyper rated the moment we say strong force strong force is it so much hyper rated or is there something which is so much stronger okay so if we compare the strong nuclear force with the electromagnetic force it is 100 times stronger it is 100 times stronger than the electromagnetic force it is 10000 times stronger than the weak nuclear force and it is 10 to the power 39 million 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 times stronger than gravity the force that you feel all the time okay the force that keeps you in your bed rather than going to a gym okay if you feel so lazy just because of gravity imagine what would have been the case if the strong nuclear force was there instead of gravity if the magnitude of the force was more okay if the magnitude of gravity was more then what would have been the case you would have been fatty okay so though the strong nuclear force is so much stronger still it is of very short range which means that if i take one nucleon from this particular nucleus okay if i take one nucleon from this particular nucleus outside at not very far away but at a small distance when I take this out then this st strong nuclear force becomes highly repulsive okay it becomes highly repulsive and the range of this particular force is 10 to the power minus 15 meters okay it is about the size of a proton so this is the reason why strong nuclear force is also known as a contact force okay it's like when they are in contact they are very much bonded with each other the moment the moment starts making some distance consider it to be till this much then they become highly repulsive okay so and this is also one of the reason why heavy nucleus okay heavy nucleus that has more number of protons and neutrons are unstable okay they have the tendency of knocking out nucleons very easily okay we can knock out the nucleons very easily from the heavy nucleus as compared to the lighter nuclei in lighter nuclei the nucleus is very much stable in case of heavy nucleus it is unstable and it is because of this property of the strong nuclear force because at a very close dis distance it is highly attractive and at a little distance it becomes highly repulsive as we have discussed that a nucleus is made up of proton and neutron okay one more question that arises in this particular case is can we further break a proton or can we further break a neutron it is very much possible and it has been found that a proton is made up of quarks a neutron is made up of quarks quarks are elementary particles and there are six types of quarks in the case of proton a proton is made up of one up quark one up quark and one down quark in the case of neutron a neutron is made up of one down quark one down quark and one up quark okay so in this particular case it is the interacting particle that mediates the interaction in case of the strong nuclear force is a gluon just like in the case of gravity it was graviton though it was hypothetical but it is okay in the case of electromagnetic force it was a photon so in the similar way in the case of the strong nuclear force it is a gluon it is the gluon that keeps this quarks and the nucleons together 
okay and the range of the strong nuclear force is very short range it becomes highly attractive when it is very much close and it becomes highly repulsive when it is a little apart okay so this is a brief introduction to your strong nuclear force